bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Alright, it's time for us to do this daily toast, family. So now, first things first, make sure you get your water. I'm doing good, Mashita. Just get, get my mind ready because I, you know, I'm not used to not having kids all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I'm going to enjoy it. So, make sure you stay hydrated. All right? So, we're going to take first glass. Second one, come on, knock them out. Mm. <sighs> Woo, stay hydrated, family. Now, right now. As, you, as I tell y'all before, I'm doing the black seed oil right now, and I'm almost done. Once I finish this bottle, I'm gonna do a review on black seed oil, right? Because I'm, I, I, I'm hearing that it's all the rage, right? But I, you know, I, I just save it for the, I just save it for the review, right? Now. But what I'm doing right now is chlorophyll. I'm doing some uh, chlorophyll. It's called chlor oxygen, and this shit is. Uh, listen, right after this, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to finish because I bought this, and I don't believe in wasting no money. I'm. I guess I'm old school like that, right? Excuse me. So I'm going to finish drinking this. They say 18 to 33 drops. A uh, 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 dropper is about 18. So I'm going to finish that. That's about two droppers right there. We're going to go and drink this. So as I phase off of this, I'm moving into the chlorophyll. We'll talk about the importance of the chlorophyll, what it does. But once again... I'm blessed in a, in a way where I could go and experiment with some of this stuff. Like I said, if you don't have, if you don't have um, the money to do um, herbs or different um, tonics, um, like I said, that water and that proper breathing. We talked about the proper breathing. You go back and you can um, look at some of the videos. I'm gonna do some more uh, breathing videos as well. And you, matter of fact. Today I'm gonna talk about something that a lot of people overlook. Um, we're gonna talk about cold showers today, right? Real briefly on on YouTube, right? So you follow on YouTube and you get to think about the cold shower and the benefits of a cold shower. You be kind of surprised the stuff that you can heal yourself with, or or, or strengthen your body with that you can do it that's absolutely free, right? Actually, we get the chlorophyll we need by eating. A lot more green vegetables. Now I eat a lot of green vegetables, but they say that this concentrated chlorophyll goes in your body and it helps reproduce blood cells. Right? It helps produce. We don't. I'm, I'm gonna talk about it, but I wanted to try it first so that I can start giving other people suggestions. Just, just, just suggestions. Cause like, just like you, I'm searching. Right, and as I move up in age, y'all can see the little white, little gray. They call it gray, but it's actually right white. You know what I'm saying? See the little uh, gray hairs that I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to live uh, a, a peaceful, powerful, and joyous existence. Um, I watched my grandfather. Um, I watched my grandfather uh, make his transition, and not knowing who he was not knowing who the people around him were. So I I have to strive to find 
a way to live a long and prosperous life and live a healthy life. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons I am doing what I'm doing. I still got some I still got some habits that I'm working on just like all of us, right? You know, but the piece is can I live as long and as healthy as I possibly can? I don't have to. None of us have to die um, not knowing who we are. You, you know, my grandfather suffered suffer from Alzheimer's. And uh, the, the studies say a lot of that could be curved through the diet. Right? Just simply changing the diet. You know? So I'm going to explore and I'll use myself as a laboratory. That's why we got the ambrosia. That's why I'm sitting up here drinking chlorophyll. So let's get it. Mm. Alright, that have, supposedly helps with the with the blood and since we working on breathing that help increase the amount of air that I'm able to take in or the amount of oxygen that I'm able to extract out of the air so the ambrosia that we got today family is the death eater now what's unique about the death eater you see I got the DE on there right death eater right this is pure dandelion root burdock root that I brewed directly from dandelion root and burdock root. There is no green tea in this. This is only dandelion root and burdock root. I have a scoby. I have a scope. My fault. I have scobies that brew this for me. So, once again, it got that nice earthy smell like dirt, but a good tasting dirt. All right, so let's get it. So call on the Creator by whatever name you choose to call that Creator. We call that Creator to bless and guide us on this day. We call the Creator to touch our hearts, touch our minds, touch our souls, touch our loved ones. We call that Creator God and to strengthen us and we say, I say. From there, we move on to our personal ancestors. And since I brought up my grandfather, I'm going to toast um, um, Cleveland Brown. There's a special one for Cleveland Brown. I named my my youngest son after him. Um, the greatest man that that I've known. You know, so I've been blessed to know. Um, and I pray that everybody out there had a great man in your life. It might not have been your father, might not have been your grandfather, but there's some body, some male in your life, some man, a real man in your life. That is the greatest man that you ever know that you could toast for right now. You know what I'm saying? So, we, matter of fact, let's toast all the great men in our life. All right? All the great men in our life that have made their transition. That have helped us, help mold us into who we are. Our grandfathers, our fathers, our uncles, our cousins. Those great men. Right? We just toasting the great ones. The ones that was mediocre, you could toast them if you want. But right now we calling on all those great men spirit. Great men spirits who surrounded us and protected us and guided us and lifted us lifted lifted us up and defended us and taught us and opened opportunities and doors for us. Right? So we toast. Those great male spirits. I'm going to come back and we'll toast the, the, the ladies tomorrow, all right? But we want to remember those spirits and we say, I say, shouts out Cleveland Brown. All right, now, from here, we're going to toast this moment. Right now, this moment is Nia. Woo! Purpose, balance, rhythm. The day's male name is Kofi. The female name is Afua. Speaking of that, my daughter Afua, oh man, I just thought about it. She hit me up the other day. All right, so we um, we toasted, right? We toasted this day, this moment, the power in this moment. We say, I say, from near family, 
we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Man, I just, uh, I just basically released about 500 kids to enjoy that summer. Can somebody tell me why we still have summer break? Speaking of toasting the children, is that for the children? You know? But then again, I might have to need to ask the question, can somebody still tell me why we do education and the way we do education? But I so I'm in a discussion. So we toast our children, our children's children on to infinity. Right? We want to make sure we toast them in advance so that they can toast us when it's our time and we say I say from there we want to toast any challenge out there that you got we want to we want to toast uh, your issues in a sense alright we want to toast your challenges we want to toast your 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 blessings right we want to check we want to toast your victories and we want to toast your defeats you know what I'm saying because out of all of these things, they make us who we are. So we want to toast them. And I want you to be able to toast it and ask for whatever it is you want right now. So we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. I need some death eater in my life. Woo! What, you can't hear me? Oh, man. Don't tell me that. All right. Brother Kwame just came in and said he can't hear me. Uh, can you hear me now? You know, I do kind of got the thing flipped over. And, yeah. Oh, she look at me. Um, Kwame, you might got your, your audio down. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. All right, but hey, drink up. Drink up. something family all right so uh we did the we did the oxygen already right we did the oxygen all right so facebook uh some of y'all doing the challenge those that do the challenge when it comes to the ambrosia it's 250 a bottle period right so i need y'all to know that right so other than that, we got to go through all the price scares and stuff like that. But once you sign up for that Goose Sopper Challenge, and you don't, like I said, you only got to sign up once. All I need to be able to do is go back and look and see whether or not you signed up. Because the Goose Sopper Challenge is a 21-day challenge, so it's only a throw in a 30-day cycle, right? So, boom, you sign up. I got the email and all that. I sent out the emails that people know. That I got a new batch ready and I'm about to get a batch together today. So Facebook, I want to thank you. Um, I love you. All of y'all, thank you for joining me early in the morning, right? Um, and, and thank you for accepting the fact that I was late this morning, right? So, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with myself. You know, I, I don't have the summer off. Let me first say that. I don't have the summer off. But I, I'm going to have to find something to do with myself, right? Because I, I'm used to getting up um, and adding, having the kids wait for me. So every summer I have a I have a um, ex existential crisis and shit. So it'd be like, yeah, I'm useless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, what am I going to do? Who am I going to suspend? You know what I'm saying? But in some form or fashion, the creator always throws some children in, in my path. So um, I'm going to work it out. Or some adults that I need to work with. All right? But I do know I'm going to focus on getting that um that 21 week uh that 21 week uh, warrior thing complete. 
So for those individuals that want to go deeper than just the 21 day and lose cyber challenge, we're going to come up with something that's going to change your life. And then changing your life, we're going to change the world. All right. So now I'm about to move on to my people on YouTube. So Facebook, I'm saying peace. Sorry for how dark it is. I don't understand. I'm trying to get the light together, y'all. I promise. I promise. But as we get, as we do it longer, we'll get better. All right? With that, I'm out. All right, YouTube. Now, so, we are going to be talking about the cold showers, right? So now, y'all know I've been experimenting with that. Some of y'all that's been tuning in, right? And I know y'all like, well, I think, what does this... This stuff you're doing, what does it have to do with the principles, right? Bear with me. What I'm trying to do is help you build up your tool chest, right? A toolkit so that you can deal with all aspects of life, right? All aspects of life. So regardless of what the day is, you're going to be able to shape and mold it into whatever you need it to be. Right? So I got to make sure you got the proper tools. So I can sit up here and talk about the principles all day long, all night long. But what good is talking about the principles if I'm not giving you tools that can help you hone and become a better you? Right? See, because we all are we all are experimenting at this point in time. We all are are, are trying to um to get to certain certain levels of development, hopefully, right? So like yesterday, I said, boom, I am I want to do a movie. I want to talk about a movie because I hear people talking about Get Out. I, you know what I'm saying? I've seen people talk about Nat Turner when it came out. But I don't see nobody talking about the movies that I honestly believe could really change lives. Because a lot of these movies, like I said, a lot of them end in a way that is not productive for me. Nat Turner's ending is not productive for me. All right? Get out sending is not productive for me. What do you mean by that, Tim? You know what I'm saying? Because in Get Out, the guy gets away and his friend rescues him at the end. I haven't seen it yet, right? But I, you know, I have heard reviews, right? But the fact of the matter is that the man still exists in a world where he knows what's going on. So now his life is going to be worse than it ever was, right? Because now he's going to be wondering how many... White folks is going to be trying to cut him, you know, get his eyes. You want to see the world through your eyes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, could you imagine how horrible it would be to be able to live in a world where you know? Now, it ain't just it ain't just theory no more. It's an actual fact that there's motherfuckers that want your body. Could you imagine that? That's a horrible existence. That's not a good ending. Yeah, he escaped them motherfuckers. What about the next ones, right? I mean, y'all need to really think about shit like that. Nat Turner, how did that end? Somebody tell me. Django, how did that end? Did the world change? Nah. So, one of the reasons I love the movie I reviewed for y'all yesterday because at the end of that shit, right, they left you hanging because the, it went down and you know that they went to all these cities and cities all over the country started breaking out and there was a change in process. Powerful, powerful. That's the type of movie I need. You know what I'm saying? I, that's that's my, that's my type of fairy tale, right? You know what I'm saying? That's my type of legend. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? You know, see, because you have to understand that movies shape your perception. They set they're the new storyboards. They're the new storybook, right? Black folks need stories of victory. We don't need stories of compromise. We don't need, you know what I'm saying? We don't need just feel good stories and stay in the same situation you in shit. We don't need that. We need victory stories, right? So I need to let y'all know we there are movies out there where we are victorious. So today we're talking about cold showers. Why are we talking about cold showers? Now, from my personal experience before I really get into reading what some of the other guys have, cold showers help me wake up. Um, cold showers help me stay focused. I mean, it's like when when you when I'm in a cold shower, it's a little bit different to me than I, 
hell with that. It's a lot different than being in a hot shower, right? Because I love a hot shower. I love a hot bath. But it's something about a cold shower that kind of focuses you, right? Because in a hot shower, I'm able to drift off, right? In a hot bath, I'm able to sit in there for a very long time and drift off, right? I could do two hours, two and a half hour hot bath every now and then running the water, right? But when I get into a cold bath, it's like reality is right there. I have to deal with the water. I have to, the water brings me into what we talk about as far as when we pour in our libation. It brings me into the now. I have to deal with now and I have to be like, damn, can I sit in this tub for five minutes? And then after I sit in the tub for five minutes, I find that I'm able to adjust. And sitting in a cold bath is just as cool as sitting in a warm one. Now, also, discipline. Because I got to talk myself into getting into the cold water every time. Right? So, it's like, yo, yo, this whole cold shower thing is something to the, 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 the mental part of it. Right? This whole mental bringing you into the present moment. You having to practice your, your discipline. You being focused. Right? Developing self-control. Now let's just now now I want to list some of the body things that happen for you. Um, this is from Healthy Living. I like playing with that camera. Alright. It's from Healthy Living. I didn't need my glasses. I just wanted to make sure I had them just in case. Sorry, right, family. Here we go. Benefits of cold showers. Seven reasons why taking cold showers is good for your health. I won't hold you up too long today, family. It increases your alertness. Yeah, I can attest to that. Taking a cold shower in the morning and feeling cold water pour down over your body seems more horrifying than soothing. However, the deep breathing in response to our body's Shock helps keep um, shock helps us keep warm as it increases our overall oxygen intake. There's that oxygen again, right? There's that deep breathing again, right? Thus, our heart rate will also increase, releasing the rest of blood through our entire body. This gives us a natural dose of energy for the day. Now, also, we just got done talking. We went on um, a three-day talk. Well, we was talking about the lymphatic system. The cold water also helps with the deep breathing and all that stuff. When the cold water hits, it helps the lymphatic system do its job as well. Remember, and the lymphatic system don't have a pump. Our motion, our movement is the pump for the lymphatic system. So it helps that as well. Refines hair and skin. When it comes to hair and skin, one of the most natural ways to maintain your appearance is with a cold shower. Hot water has a tendency to dry out our skin, so it is best to use cold water to tighten your cuticles and pores, which will prevent them from getting clogged. Cold water can seal the pores in the skin and scalp too, preventing dirt from getting in. All right? Improve immunity and circulation. Cold water can improve circulation by encouraging blood to surround our old organs, which can then help combat some problems of the skin and heart. As cold water hits the, hits the body, its ability to get, get blood circulating leads the arteries to more efficient pump blood, more efficiently pump blood, therefore boosting our overall health. Alright? Stimulates weight loss. Those that's trying to lose weight, cold showers can aid weight loss in an unexpected way. The human body contains two types of fat tissue, white fat, brown fat, all right? White fat is accumulated when we consume more calories than our body needs to function, and we don't burn these calories for energy. The bo this body fat piles up at our waist, lower back, neck, and thighs, and this, and I mean, and is the one we all struggle to eliminate. Brown fat is a good fat, which generates heat to keep our bodies warm, and is activated. Um, it's activated when we take a cold shower, all right? Speed up muscle soreness and recovery. I ain't going to read that one yet because we're going to move on. 
eases stress, and relieves, helps relieve depression. All right, now, but check, let's check that one out, All right? Cold showers have been shown to relieve depression symptoms due to intense impact of cold receptors in the skin, which send an overwhelming amount of electrical impulses from the periphery nerves endings to the brain. Thus, it produces antidepressive effects and boosts moods, making it a pick-me-up. Alright? Now, this one right here says, A study in 2008 found that cold hydrotherapy has an analgesic effect and does not appear to have noticeable side effects or cause dependence. Uh, you don't get dependent on cold showers. You have to talk to yourself into getting you to that every day. So that's that one right here. This one, this article that I'm about to share with you as well, comes from um, uh, paleo, a paleo uh, diet piece. And we eventually might look at the paleo diet, even though I can't participate in the paleo diet because I don't, I don't eat meat like that. Now, I eat fish, but I don't eat meat like that. Um, but we're going to look at some of the possible benefits and downside of some, some of these other, some of these diets, right? You know, so, um, let's go and look at it. Unless you jumped into a cold spring or, um, or hung out under a water or under a waterfall lately, you probably enjoy your warm shower bath without really thinking about it. Most of the time you don't even notice. They don't have the author on here, so I'll find an author for you in a second. Uh, most of the time, you don't even notice the hot water unless it runs out. That's when you start hopping around in the shower and cursing and screaming before reaching for the nearest towel. The idea of cold showers are better than your hot, your hot water willingly seems um, a bit crazy, or is it? Entering a cold shower. They call it the most paleo hacks. Simply change you uh, simple changes you can make to live healthier are really about going back to the basics the principles aren't usually new but they help to you to avoid some of the dangerous side effects of modern lifestyles bathing in cold water is no different people in civilization across the globe have been taking plunges into icy waters lakes and waterfalls to cleanse themselves physically and sometimes spiritually for thousands of years that's what sometimes my camera do its own thing but it's right. It needs to cut me off. All right, so let's finish it. So we got entering the cold shower. So now in Paleo Hack, they talk about six incredible health benefits. Um, it say they say it boosts your immune system. Now, um, fight depression. We, we covered that one, right? Prevent muscle soreness. Now this one they talk about preventing muscle soreness rather than dealing with it. Boost self discipline and willpower. We spoke about that one. Increase energy and alertness. We also spoke about, about that one. Faster fat loss. We talked about that one as well. As well. Then they give instructions on how to take a cold shower. Now, I don't know who don't know how to take a cold shower, right? But let me give you a suggestion, all right? Because some of y'all might want to try the cold shower, right? Those of you that are out there really doing doing, doing your geometry thing, that's out there that's trying to um, move into self-mastery, right? So let me help you out real quick, right? First way to start, a simplest way is, as, as in everything, ease into it. Um, I suggest that you get in and you start with a warm shower. And you can start slowly turning the water down, turning the heat down. And just build up. And then, um, once the water hit, let it hit your back first, Right? Because the back is the major piece, right? We know, cause you know, you know how you used to run and just put ice on the back of people, on people's back, and they be ah, and they run and they try to hit you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the back is real sensitive. But if you get the back out the way first, I always try to get my back out the way first, right? That at least when I started, now nah, I could just walk in. All I gotta do is talk myself into it and walk into the shower now. But when I first started, I had to first get my back out the way. I had to get my back uh, acclimatated first so that I would be able to sustain it, right? So, turn on the warm water and then slowly turn it off, right? Until the just cold water and then let it hit. 
right? And just and then in, then in less than uh, you have the initial shock. After the initial after the initial shock, you gonna find it is not as hard to stay in this as, as you thought. And as you do it, if you do it for like a two week period, you start finding that it's it's quite enjoyable. All right, so yo, this is Brother High Tim coming at you with some some new information. Hopefully that you can use to make yourself a better person, a stronger person, a more intelligent person, person that exists in the now that's able to pull the power right into your life and move and blast your way to where you want to go. Right, this is Brother High Tim. This is um, um the Daily Toast. Representing Giami Journey. You have a great day. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Giami Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.